Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In today's video lecture, we are going to discuss the standard deviation and variance. Here we will see what we mean by these terms, standard deviation and variance, its definition, its formulas, and we will also deal with an example to understand their concepts. Okay, so actually what is a standard deviation? The standard deviation is a quantity that expresses by how much the numbers of a group differ from the mean value of the group. Okay, uh, suppose we have a group of numbers and then we will find the mean or the average, simple average of these numbers. Then the standard deviation will tell us by how much the numbers of this group are differing from this mean value. Okay, so in another terms, we can say that standard deviation is nothing but simply it is a measure of how spread out the numbers are, the spreading of the numbers. We can denote the standard deviation by this uh, Greek letter sigma and uh, the relationship between the standard deviation and variance is actually the variance is denoted by sigma square. So you can understand that it is nothing but the square of uh, standard deviation. Or in another uh, way, we can say that standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So as I told you that uh, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Since standard deviation is denoted by the letter sigma, so we will denote this variance by the sigma square. Or uh, from this, you see that sigma is equal to under root of variance. So it is the square root of the variance. So let's say what is variance if we know or if we have calculated the value of variance then we can simply take its square root and we will get the value of standard deviation. So first of all let's understand what we mean by the variance actually. Variance is nothing but variance is the average of the squared differences from the mean. What we want to say here that if we have a set of values a set of numbers then we will find the mean value of it. How we find the mean or average of uh, a set of numbers? Simply add these numbers and divide it by the number of terms that are uh, present in that set. Okay. And if we have that mean, then we will find the average of the squared differences from the mean. Means we will subtract this mean from each value of the number present in that set and will take a square of that and will find again the average of that these values okay if you are confused or if you are not getting it let me proceed and show you the formula to find the standard deviation so here you can see the formula to find the standard deviation this is a simple formula although you uh, you might think that it is a complex formula but uh, it is very simple actually here you can see there are two variations in this formula. The first formula is the population standard deviation and the second one is the sample standard deviation. You can see here that there is a small difference between these formulas uh, at this place only. Here it is uh, 1 by n but at this place it is 1 by n minus 1. The difference is only of this minus 1. In this term n, here it is n, here it is n minus 1. So when we use these formulas, okay, the difference is uh, whenever we take uh, all the values that are present in the sample to find its standard deviation, then we will use this formula. But if some set of values is given, okay, and we are taking a sample values from that, from that uh, set, suppose we have 10 uh, numbers and we are calculating, we want to calculate the standard deviation. Uh, for all of these 10 values then we will use this formula but if we are taking out of these 10, sem uh, 10 values we are taking only 7 values then we will use uh, this sample standard deviation formula to calculate the standard deviation for that uh, sample okay this is the difference okay I will explain you it with the help of uh, an example how we use this so let's uh, understand it what it is saying it is simply it is a square root okay so first of all what we will do this is mu mu is the mean value okay what is mu mu here is the mean okay or the average so first of all we will calculate the mean value 
of these numbers and then here it is what is written here x i minus mu it means i is uh, varying from uh, going from 1 to n so uh, we will take the first term first the terms that are present in the sample are denoted by x then we will take the first term so it is x1 minus mu square x2 minus mu square if there are n terms present in that uh, set of numbers given the of which we want to calculate the standard deviation it is n numbers then this will be this summation is from 1 to that number n okay so x1 minus mu mu is the mean x2 minus mu x3 minus mu and we are uh, squaring it so x1 minus mu square plus x2 minus mu square plus x3 minus mu square okay so we are subtracting the mean value from that from each number and are squaring it and then adding them then after we have uh, uh, squared and added these numbers then we will divide it by number n n is the number of values present in that set okay and then we will take its square root and we will get the sigma standard deviation and if we want to calculate the variance then we will just uh, square it then we will get the variance or you can say we will not take its under root if we will not take its square root then this value without a square root is the variance itself okay so if we are taking a sample values okay from that uh, 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 from that uh, set of values some number of values then we will use this formula now to make it uh, very clear let me take an example to understand this standard deviation and the variance suppose uh, here uh, the question is uh, find the standard deviation for the following numbers here we are given this set of numbers and we want to find its standard deviation we will also calculate the variance also so the step one as i told you is to find the mean of the values actually this is the formula this is the formula to calculate the standard deviation so first of all we will uh, find the mean value mu so we all know how we can calculate the mean value mean is nothing but simply the average average means uh, we will add all these numbers and divide it by the number of values present in this uh, set so they are they are one two three four five six seven eight eight values so we will add all these numbers divided by 8 we all know how to calculate the average and we will get it as 58 by 8 7.25 this was the first step now we have the value of mu okay now the second step is we will subtract every value uh, we will subtract this mean from each of these values that is we will subtract this 7.25 from 9 7.25 from 2 so 9 minus 7.25 2 minus 7.25 5 minus uh, 7.25 okay so that we can get x1 minus mu x2 minus mu okay up to n terms up to 8 terms x3 minus mu and the, then we will square them so how we get this from all these values subtract 7.25 this mean value mu see here we have this uh, set of numbers very simple uh, 9 minus 7.25, 2 minus 7.25, 5 minus 7.25 up to, uh, we will do this up to 11 minus 7.25, okay? 11 minus 7.25, 7.25. So this is the value. You can see here some values are positive and some are negative. This was our second step actually. We have subtracted the mean from each number and we will square it as uh, per the formula, as by the formula. We will square all these values. We have done x1 minus mean, x2 minus mean, x3 minus mean, x4 minus, x5 minus mean. And now we will square these difference. Okay. Let's square. After squaring, we know that uh, if we square a positive number or negative number, we will get the positive number. So this is nothing but the simply the square of all these numbers. We have squared these numbers. Very simple. Okay. Now, the third step is we will add these squared values. We will add all these values 3.06 plus 27.56 plus 5.06. You can see here we have added all these uh, values, the squared differences according to this formula. Okay, this is summation. Okay, summation of all values. First of all, we have find, found the mean then subtracted this mean squared them and added them okay added all the values up to 
these uh, eight drums the here we have eight numbers okay after that what we will do after summation we will divide it by n here uh, our n is uh, eight since there are n numbers present uh, there are eight numbers one two three four five six seven eight eight numbers present in this so n is eight here so we will divide this uh, summation by number eight and then take the square root we will get the uh, standard deviation so we have added all these numbers as i told you now we will divide it by the number n okay this, this is step number four divide the summation by the number of values present here in this uh, set of values n so 83.48 is the summation divided by 8 we will get 10.43 now the last step is to take the square root of it and on taking a square root of 10.43 i get 3.22 so this is simply the standard deviation denoted by the sigma so sigma the standard deviation is 3.22 and i told you that the relationship between sigma and variance variance is simply the square of the standard deviation or you can say standard deviation is a square root of the variance so to calculate variance just square the standard deviation and we will get 3.22 that is 3.22 square that is the sigma square is equals to 10.43 okay so 10.43 is the uh, variance and 3.22 is the standard deviation so i hope you understood all these concepts of standard deviation and uh, the variance in the next video we will uh, understand what we mean by the mean mode median and the range so don't forget to watch my next video but for that you please subscribe the channel so that whenever i release this video you will get the notifications of this video so please subscribe engineering made easy for more such videos and please click on the like button and share it with your friends thank you for watching have a nice day take care bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.